guys how's everyone doing um like i said want to focus a lot on food and stuff and nutrition and meal planning prepping clean eating etc um because that i think for most people is the most challenging part like we all can get a workout in and have a fitness plan that we know how to follow we just got to do it right we all know we're supposed to drink lots of water and drink our Shakeology, which that Shakeology is another topic we're really going to focus on. The benefits, why we're drinking it, what we're getting from it, etc. Okay, so clean eating versus processed eating. All right, I've got three things here. All right, all right, these are all things that are in my house that we keep here. The boys love these and these. Maria and I eat these. Um, now, if I was looking at these labels, like, first of all, I might think, oh, this is good for me. It's just a, a bar, and if I eat a pack, it's um, 230 calories. Um, so, you know, it it says it looks good. It's got this, then the other thing, but, um, you know, and it tells you that it's slow-release carbs from wholesome grains to help fuel your body for four hours sounds good right okay if I go to the ingredients and look at what's in here okay I'm looking here all right look at all these ingredients usually the more ingredients there are the worse the product is for you and if there are ingredients that you can't read or you don't know what they are then it's not something you that you should be putting in your body so you know we start with whole grain rolled oats rye enriched flour niacin, thiamine, monotreid, riboflavin, sometimes it lists, okay, that's vitamin B, you know, um, sugar, um, invert sugar, baking soda, and then it, there's other things like ferric, sephora, you know, niacinamide, peroxidine, uh, so on and so forth. And some of them are like fancy names for different vitamins. <clears throat> and other things are like additives and preservatives put in there to give it a long shelf life um, and also too, a packet of these has 10 grams of sugar our daily intake is supposed to be seven grams so one packet of these and you've already exceeded your daily intake of sugar and it's not a natural sugar it's a highly processed sugar so when we eat things you know especially over and over and over again repetitively what happens is our body doesn't know what to do with these things, um, these preservatives and additives. So it it can have many different effects. It can make you gain weight. It can make you be bloated. They can give you headaches. Um, they can make you not concentrate. They can make you agitated. The list goes on and on. If it's, if it's something that is highly processed, you shouldn't, the bottom line is we shouldn't eat it. Is it going to happen? Yes. Have, do I eat these once in a while? Yeah, I do. And it's usually when I'm not prepared. So just, I want people to start being aware of what you're eating and the consequences that it might have on your body. <clears throat> so I like to keep these around, all right? These are the ingredients. Three egg whites, three almonds, four cashews, two dates, no BS. Okay, so there's nothing added to this to make this, give this a long shelf life, to make this highly processed, to make this taste sweet, etc. This is a, a clean bar. And I actually make my own bars sometimes, and I keep them in the freezer. I would much rather eat that than something that's highly processed, but the idea is you have to be prepared. Um, same with these. These are like... You know, the ingredients on these are all organic. There's a lot of ingredients. Um, they're all things that I can read and recognize. But this too, this has 12 grams of sugar in a bar. So if I give this to my kids, is this like the end of the sugar they're going to have in a day? No. You know, there's going to be other things. So do they eat these still? Yeah. I, I'm not perfect, okay? I do keep them around. But I'm trying to face things like that out because they just don't have a good effect on our bodies and um, usually the more processed foods we eat the more we want to eat them it's like a vicious cycle 
Um, so please take some time to be aware of what you're eating. What Look at the labels, all right? It's a process and it takes time. And like I said, I'm not perfect over here. I still have processed things in my house. And I just kind of take one thing at a time and try and find an alternative or, or something, okay? Um, just remember, preservatives and additives don't have a positive effect on our body. And a lot of the things we eat now have been altered to have a long shelf life or to taste good. And it is not what our body wants. And ultimately it has a negative effect eventually one way or the other. All right, comments, questions, let me know. All right, um, take care.